Now, where's the exact center of it? Let me see. So, one, two, three. This is the center from here. And then, one, two, three. This is the center from here. So, right here below us. Oh, shit! <laughs> Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is games for cakes and welcome to Imperion, the intergalactic survival game Lost somewhere in the Andromeda galaxy. I've just cleared out and refilled our um, Oxygen tanks you can see here 242 waters Very nice in total. So I built two of them because you never know when you craft food the last thing you want to be short of is water So before I bring them in I finished this There we go I put some lights on the top, I put some float lights on the very tippy top, you can't see them, I'll show you them later. And I kind of, I didn't complete it, but I had to get the basic idea of how I want things organized. And there's a lot of thinking that I had to do about where I want everything, so I'll show you this here now. Um, can I put these lights on a H V No? I'll probably have to get lights for inside the spaceship as well just uh, or the h3 i don't even know if you can have actually lights on the h3 but anyway so i have three thrusters i have plenty of fridges because sadly the fridges are tiny so if you want to actually go on a scavenging hunt you need to build uh, loads of fridges okay and two storage containers here is enough and we have another storage container here for ore. I've moved the core from the bottom here into here so it's a bit risky because i have a thruster here and actually removed all the directional thrusters and I replaced them with proper thrusters so that way we have enough power so if you look at the ship now from a power perspective it is moving quite fast like so it is well the turning is is always like I have two I have two RCS units behind the fuel tanks and oh yeah and se thanks somebody was actually pointing out to me um, I kept pressing space like with the jetpack to jump but that's actually not anymore the function like when you press space it actually just raises your um, hover craft a little bit the actual booster that you see on the bottom right the bar for the booster is actually when you press shift space and I forgot about that so we have to press shift space there you go see and that way we go really really high up there you go so it's not the prettiest ship to be honest, but it's gonna be called Bumblebee when it's finished. I have the windows that I have to still put around. I uh, have a front wall. I've protected my cockpit with a lot of blocks so that it basically doesn't get shut down easily. Um, on the roof of this, I will put a gun, but only one because I've heard reports from people saying that if you have two guns, and there's two enemies left and right one they have the tendency of crossing each other and shooting at each other and then destroy your actual hovercraft which is not something i really want to happen so okay now that we had that sorted out let me fix that nice okay I'm also very excited like um, by the time you see this video you probably already have seen episode 5 probably of Soma I'm very excited. It's it's absolutely an amazing game. I love it because it's not jump scares. It's not now mind you it could do with a few jump scares so far uh, what I've noticed and it doesn't need to be jump scare littered, but I Think it is trying to be a bit timid so far I mean uh, I was at some stage you by the time you see this I posted it already at some stage I was underwater and uh, walking forever on the ocean ground and the scariest thing that i came across was another robot now i know the, the game is not maybe trying to be too scary but i think it's a little timid in places where you kind of think no that could have been a bit more f in your face you know i mean they had a chance there to put a massive shark swimming past you for example or you know these type of things but again i don't know really the story maybe this whole ocean thing is not real uh, and it's like a, a, a fake ocean thing, you know, for research or something. I don't know. So uh, I'm not going to complain too much about it. Um, I really enjoy it anyway. So up here, I built my elevators up here. And over here, we're going to start a new platform like this. But it will only be in the air. It will basically for a ship to land and then walk across here 
and get the lift down. Or a ship can land here, so we want to support multiple ships. Now, I tried to do... If you press N and hold N and have a block in your hand, you can see the planes. The problem with the planes is it seems to not care that I only want to build here. It basically puts the plane, the cemetery plane, right across the whole base, whatever it considers to be the XY center of the base or the YZ center of the base or the um, XZ center of the base. So it doesn't care. You can't designate an area and say, oh, I actually want only here for you to go ahead now and make a symmetry plane right ahead. There should be an option of saying positional or something, yeah? And unless it is somehow available so that if I have a block here, I can tell it, hey, I want you to create a symmetry plane right in front of me. You know, right where I'm looking at. Nowhere else, exactly right in front of me. And that would help so much. Anyway, so without... Oh, we have no blocks. We have to get more blocks. Um, I think we have to get more blocks. We'll see. So the first thing we want to do is get around here again, as always. Um, and I'm not going to time lapse this because uh, I actually want to. I think if I time lapse this, I wouldn't know what else to do in this episode. So I'm going to actually want to focus on this. And in the next episode, what we might do is. Let me turn this. Yeah. Well, what we might do is uh, go to Omicron for a quick scavenging run. Not in our hovercraft, in our uh, other spaceship. So we're going to make sure we have our weapons a bit covered. And... Um, oh, I nearly put that the wrong way. Yeah. And then one more this way. So it's three, I think. Yeah. Is that about right? Yep, I think so. And then we have, um, how many going across here? Yeah, I want to be sure I do this right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's five, five across. Oh, nearly fell down there. Always make sure you have your jackpack on, because if you fall and you time it right, you can actually survive this very easily. One, two, three, four, f oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Now, with the symmetry plane, if I would be able to look at this, this is my farm down there when it's finished, with the lights on top, and you see on the very tippy top of the of the blocks, you have the floodlights. Looks awesome, doesn't it? I mean, this is just the farm. And what I actually can do now is I can put a second level on top, which is floating mid-air, just with another farm. So, um, if I want to, and I just build it up high in the sky, so like a multi-layered farm, which is great. So, let's do the same on this side. So we're gonna go here, like this, then attach the next one here, come on, there you go, it's a bit iffy, thank you, and then the next one here, I'm glad you actually can do that, oh, okay, now it starts turning the wrong one, great, is that it, I think so. I think that's right. Yeah. Nice. Now one more. There we go. And I think that's it now. And now we have the five blocks. Yeah, I think so. One. Okay, I have to. Let me see. Yeah, actually it is. Cool. Okay, let's just walk a little bit down. And then one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And this is going to be looking weird because the problem with this, as I said that last time, when you have these angular blocks, unless you can have angular blocks on the on the other side, um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to fill the space, to be honest. Like, So I probably have to use something like that here to you know, get the square shape back or something. I have no idea. I, I really have no idea how I'm going to do this. Because you can see here it's actually missing. So I might actually do that. And that way we have a gap there. But, you know, it looks at least designery, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that's a word. But, hello. Okay, so. Now with this one here, we're going to go the other way. Here. 
If you hear sniffing in the background, that's my dog. She's with me in my room in the moment, and whenever she hears a noise, she has to sniff like a maniac. Because for some reason that makes her happy. So... Okay, that's the second triangle going the other way. There you go. And... The third one, the last one. There we go. Nice. And now we have five blocks. Oh, actually, I can take my helmet off. That way I save oxygen. One, two, oh, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now we'll connect these two. And then this ring is done. And this is a landing pad, basically. So there will be lights all around. I don't know exactly how we're going to connect the lights, but... <laughs> we're probably gonna put um, I don't know I have no idea I don't think there will be lights on the outside because I just don't know how to connect them like I would probably be able to do this with the lights I think we'll see I'm not quite sure okay let's see here we are one and the next one here and then we actually can start from here now look at that beautiful I love when a plan comes together now what we might want to do is we want to start connecting these guys going across and then actually yeah let's try this out let's 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 try this out so let's see what it looks like we're gonna have this basically going across one can I do that? Can I go across? No? Okay. Oh, shit. This is gonna this is gonna want to build two now, doesn't it? Yeah, of course. Because once you start dragging, it needs to be dragged to somewhere. <laughs> okay. Now we can also now put this guy here. Let me see. No. No no no. There you go. And I think, do we need a third one? And now we can put the blocks on the other side. So even though you can fall through here, yeah, it, this is what I meant by it looks at least designerish or something, yeah, because it's straight. One, two, three. Very nice. Just be careful that you don't fall into it. Okay, again. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. But the good thing now is we can now, without worry... Do this. And connect the blocks. That. Isn't that awesome? Nice. That is so sweet. So now I, I will show you what it looks like from the top. I actually don't know because... Um, but that's the landing pad. Awesome. Now, where's the exact center of it? Let me see. So one, two, three. This is the center from here and then one two three this is the center from here so right here below us oh shit why did it do that why did it do that i wanted to place a plug but luckily i had my like i said earlier always have your jetpack on because when that shit happens and you fall, you see, it actually placed the block, but I, I suppose I landed in the block or something and forced me out. So I think that's the exact center now. Yeah. Okay. Now, knowing where the center is, how are we going to do the lights now? Let me see. Can we put lights in an angle? No. Only like this. Oh, it's a pity you can't put them in an angle. Oh, it would be great if you can make them diagonal. That would have been really awesome. So, because we want lights in different colors, but 
fair enough. Let's see actually if we can just without the lights first get the colors going here. I have no idea how you design um um so the ring should be blue. Yeah, let's make the ring blue. That's fine. So make the ring blue. Or should we use two colors in the ring? This is what I love about the coloring tool here. It doesn't cost you anything. It's like literally free. So, okay, if we... Do we want to do two colors? Like blue and white. actually don't see it like that so that has to be actually like that yeah yeah so that way we can have colors changing from the outside as well yeah I messed that up okay I will do better now I promise I'm sorry white and then blue and then white white blue blue white Excuse me. Excuse me, because each of those is just half a block, so they both need to be blue as one block. Okay, so like this. Bum, bum. And we should have done the same here. So this should be white, and then this should be blue. And then the same here. Blue, and then white, white, blue, blue. Okay, we fixed that. Good, great, 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 great. So we got that down. Now, do we want to go with a white pattern to the inside? Like that. I think so. I think that would be a good idea. And then... Let's... Trying to do a circle thing. Maybe, maybe that's what we do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoops. Like that. Maybe we do that instead, and then just have the white line come. Yeah, the white line has to stay. I think the white line has to stay no matter what you do. Again, we can change that. You guys can send me pictures, you know, you can actually, if you want, I show you this from Eagle's Eye View. If you have a nice design that you that you think we can apply, that would be awesome. I mean, I'm more than willing to put that in my game. That, that would be absolutely awesome. So, yellow. Because I'm, like I said, I don't really have the exact flair for things. But, um, and then green. <laughs> There we go. This is just gonna be very colorful. It's gonna be very ugly and yeah, feel free to leave a comment telling me how ugly it is. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. And then, um, like I said, you guys can suggest anything and I will have a look at it and... Hmm, what color do we not have yet? Black. Yeah, let's, let's put black then all the way around. Awesome. Now we can take this guy out. And make him white. Oh! There we go. And that's it. So. And um, let's put the lights on the outside parts. At least. Like here. I think that would be good here and here and here and here I mean it's a start and again coloring literally guys just tell me whatever and you probably are much more talented in coming up with designs than myself so 
um, with patterns and all that. So you, you guys, you know, come up with something that looks prettier than this. <laughs> okay, so this here, I think I will just make one color. I don't know which one yet. Let's for the moment because color is free. It's cheap. Let's. We'll just go with uh, yellow. Yellow is nice and bright, isn't it? Yeah, and you can see it. So let's make the whole ring here yellow. Let's walk across and just make it all yellow. When you press uh, when you press shift and click left it uses the last color you used but I forgot to press shift so it just went through the colors there you go awesome now let's get to our ship and let's get it sorted and we have to eat to make some food okay whoa whoa look at that oh Okay, I landed a bit hard there. It was very hard to judge with the 3D view. That looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> looks like a child's drawing. Oh man, this is so funny. Okay, <clears throat> food. I know, I don't know, I don't remember what we need. Let's make sure we're gonna get the farm sorted and take everything off the farm. So what do we need? We're gonna eat a few of those guys. These guys I'm going to take with me for when I'm uh, space traveling because they're awesome. They last very long. I know I have a fridge, but they still last very long, which is great for me. Okay, so let's get some oxygen. And let's get healed. Very nice. Okay, so what do we need again for... Um... Oh, do we have more? Nope, all the meat is gone. Excellent. There you go, enough oxygen to last a lifetime. Oh yeah, the water that I got earlier. There you go. Brilliant. Now, let me see. Um, pumpkin and space durian and ham, but for the thing we just need raw meat and tomatoes. Okay, so I'm not going to do this now. I still have some ham, I think. Let me see. Oh, I actually have raw meat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's get the tomatoes. And what do we need again? Tomatoes and pumpkins and space durians. Get toma tomatoes, pumpkins, and space durians. Let's get those, those three. So this is the space durians, I think. Let me see. Yep. There we go. Now do we have space? Oh, just about. We actually don't have that much space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think we have exactly the right amount. So let's take the pumpkins then. There we go. Nice. Okay, we'll come back for the tomatoes in a second. Tomatoes, 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 depending whichever way you were raised and told. So we're gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, yeah, we can put them all in. And it uses one ham? Yeah, brilliant. Okay. How many ham? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Brilliant. That's exactly nine. Oh. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So while this is burning down, we're gonna get the tomatoes. We've done a bit of farming as well in this episode. And we multitasking. Nice. And then the next episode, we're going to go to Omicron for a quick little spin. I think that would be good. We just have to make sure that... Hmm, yeah. We want to go on a loot run, so... On Omicron, and we need plenty of space for things. So what I might actually do is I might get a second 
a cargo box and I might get another gun underneath just in case not a gu not a gun a rocket launcher just in case no two is actually enough for everything I mean yeah and um, yeah get another container here on top um, and another fridge so that way we have plenty of meat storage and we have enough storage for all the instruments all the two things we find but we also have plenty of storage then for things like aloe vera because i'm gonna have to bring back tons of aloe vera as well and aloe vera perishes so it has to go in the fridge there we go and we need um Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that allows us to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. Brilliant! So we can put these guys back in here. And we're gonna have nine of those coming in. Three, four, five, six. Nice. So that's all the space that we need for the um, tins. And that, that means we have a, lo a lot of food. These give you 200 each. These guys give you 170 only. But they last for a long, long time. So there's something to be had. All right. So I think we're just going to do a quick flyby. And that's it then. So let's just pick these guys up. And look, that's proof. You guys were right in the comments. These guys grow in the wild. They grow in nature. Nothing else needed. No farm lights needed. No farm plot needed. So the only thing you need is when you want to grow these crops or whatever, then you need the farm lights. But this, no biggie. No biggie. Look at that. An aqua fruit is used for... I'll show you now. Um, where is it? Aqua fruit. There for antibiotic and is it anything else aqua fruit used for anything else i don't think so no no which means we can eat it and that's all it's really good for it's great for quick food as well because it's food 50 so it's one of those nice little topper uppers that you can have go and that's it nice so we're gonna keep these two guys in here and look at that beautiful just beautiful lovely might get a new fridge to put it over here excellent all right, okay, so let's bring up the spaceship. Let's do a few quick flyover so we can see what it looks like. Do we have enough fuel? Yes, we do. Awesome. So ship comes in. It's like, oh man, I don't know. I'm on, I'm on my last fumes, dudes. Like, we have to find someone. They come past this mountain and they're gonna see, oh, it looks like there's a base. It's like, oh, it's a space station. Or it's a, whatever you call it. Let's quickly see if we can land. And then they, 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 they radio in and they're saying like, you know, tower A, B, this beautiful child painted tower. Can you please let us know if we can land? And I would be all like, yeah, absolutely. You guys are awesome. You can land here. But only if you trade with me and give me fair prices because your flying skills are about as good as mine so I have sympathy for you <laughs> oh man there we go nice look at that and there we are landed lovely isn't that cool that is so awesome So we built this, and that is so cool. So this is our station, and on that note, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the episode, and if you did, kick the like button in the arse like the gaming ninjas you are, and I hope I see you guys in another video. Until then, viel Spaß, 
and happy gaming.